Have you ever temporarily written down sensitive information like credentials or passwords in Notepad, thinking it's safe because you never actually hit save? Well, did you know that in newer versions of Windows, the Notepad application actually writes these buffer files to disk, so that their contents can then be reopened later, even after the Notepad application terminates? You might have noticed that you can open up Notepad, type in some data as you can see here, and close the app without hitting save. Now, if we reopen the application, the data still persists. And this turns out to be one of my favorite forensic artifacts on disk, and it can sometimes lead to some very interesting insights into user behavior. It could also be a juicy way to uncover credentials in the enterprise during a penetration testing engagement. And so where's this information being stored? Well, if we head over to our user folder, under App Data, then under Local, Packages, and then under Microsoft.Windows Notepad, along with this 13 character package identifier, then under Local State, and finally Tab State, we should be able to find this .bin or this binary file extension. Now, as the name suggests, this file contains binary data. However, we can still try to print out its contents in the command line. And we're getting some unexpected artifacts here due to this file also containing some binary data. And so we could alternatively use something like the strings command to just grab out those identifiable strings. And there we are. What's even more interesting here is that these files even persist throughout system reboots or restarts, making them even less volatile than initially thought. This also means that if we're working with a disk image from a compromised system, we might still be able to recover unsaved notepad data from these tab state buffers. For example, in this black suit ransomware case, the threat actor attempted to avoid typos during their ransomware deployment by temporarily storing execution commands in notepad. They first staged their ransomware agent, used RDP to access the compromised hosts, then copied commands from notepad to execute the ransomware instead of manually typing out the commands, eliminating the risk of typos. And we can of course trace that activity back once again, just from this notepad buffer artifact. So if you're in the habit of jotting things down in notepad thinking they'll just disappear when the window closes, well think again. Those unsaved notes might persist and become a valuable forensic artifact. If you're curious to learn more about both offensive and defensive security, make sure to check out the TCM Security Academy, where we have tons of beginner courses and certifications aimed to teach you how to hack and defend like a pro.